Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Valentina and today I'm going to walk you through my 2023 Habonichi Weeks Planner, which I kept with very consistently for almost 12 months straight. Grab something warm to drink and I'm going to cozy up in here myself. My last year's video went through the roof <laughs> with views and replies from you. So if you found me through my one year in Habonichi Weeks video, hi! <laughs> I'm so happy to meet you! This year I've been using my wigs same, but a bit different, and you can see how chunky it got. First couple of pages are pretty blank. I didn't use calendars much, but I actually stuck in a piece of sticker paper to have some of my most used stickers on the go with me. Right now it's empty because I've already transferred them into my next year planner, but you can see the idea. It proved to be very useful if you are like me and love you some stickers. The next page is for my cycle tracking, and this is my holy grail of this whole planner. I like this so much, I even created the huge section in my health notebook with absolutely the same layout as this, and it is meant to last me for 5 years, to have all the info on hand for my OBGYN appointments, to track my mood swings, and for many many more things. Next, here are my monthlies, and I was very bad at keeping up with them. All you see here was backplant, actually. I used it as my one sticker a day type of spread, and I like how it looks, but honestly, I think I could live without monthlies in this planner whatsoever. They are so tiny, and I couldn't figure out how to use them for actual planning. So, if you use them successfully, I would love to hear your tips and ideas on how to make them more functional, because I gave up a bit. <laughs> and if you are like me and you can't use monthlies, leave me a secret high five emoji in the comments so we could all feel a bit better about it. <laughs> Stickers I used in the spreads are from many different shops that I love and continue to use. I will list them all down below for you. And by the way, thank you, thank you all beautiful people who uses my links to the shops to get 20% off your orders. Each time you do so, I receive a small email saying this person has accepted your invitation and I just light up and run around so happy knowing you guys are enjoying beautiful stickers as well. So thank you again, I love you! <laughs> um, in June this year my mom passed away and um, I don't know, I, I know the planner had nothing to do with this, obviously, but I just started to feel extremely heartbroken being in it. And I stopped using the Hobonichi Weeks in the late August. As you can see, my monthlies are left blank, except for occasional TCMC stickers. And I kind of like how it looks with this blank spaces and empty boxes. And here comes weeklies. So the layout I use in the beginning of this year is pretty simple. Left page is divided into two columns for events and appointments and for daily to-dos. The right page is split into two columns as well, with a little column for stickers and a bigger column for memories. I used this layout with minor changes up until March, then I introduced a habit tracker into the system, and then I exchanged a memory keeping space for a run into the list, and for weekly highlights as well. 
I really enjoyed this new layout, it was very functional for me and helped me to stay on track. And as you can see, I also used a lot of washi, stickers and even some sticky notes in my spreads. I am still not a minimalist when it comes to planning. And it's evidentially, <laughs> I'm not a minimalist. Another thing I started tracking in my weekly spread was the UV index for the day. I have a very sensitive skin and a lot of freckles, so sunbathing is strictly prohibited for me by all of my doctors, physicians, dermatologists, and even homeopaths. They all say no sun for you, girl, and it makes me kind of sad, but I know they're right. So I track the UV to make sure I wear sunscreen and don't go outside when it's like peak UV index. As you can see, the end of June and the whole July was a tough time for me. I've had a million things to do and I was crying for hours in between doing things. If it wasn't for my husband and my best friend who supported me endlessly, I don't know how I would have gotten through this all. My planner helped me enormously, actually, through that period. A couple of times I literally didn't miss my appointments with lawyer only because I've had my planner with me. And it was my second brain, way more reliable than my first brain at the time. And I'm so grateful to Hobonichi for creating it. I feel like to a lot of people this planner have brought peace and clarity they needed. But as you can see, I guess I was burnt out after I came home in August. I switched to my Teco A6 and another planner and the weeks got empty. I do not regret this. I feel like it was the right time for me to move on and I archived it and don't plan to feel it or like fill out the pages just for the sake of filling out the pages. So let's get to the notes pages. On the first one I have my 2023 goals and I'm actually quite proud of my accomplishments this year. Not all of them were completed but I feel more confident and satisfied than I was a year ago. The mood tracker on the right page. Uh, this looks dark. I mean I feel like I've never had so many awful and stressful days in a row in my entire life. I actually decided to change this layout in my new planner to make it more clear on what exactly have happened on that stressful day, what did I experience and what triggered me. I feel like this way it will be more manageable for me, like more informative to just, you know, make some decisions about my mental health. Oh, next one is my reading tracker. Yeah, uh, it just didn't happen this year. Last year I've read like 60 books. This time I maybe read five. And that's okay, considering everything. I also have a full-time job that requires a lot of reading and writing by design. But I really enjoy it, so next year I will try to do better with this. Here is my shopping list for shops that don't visit too often and I actually love this idea, I think it is very handy because we always say, oh, we need to get this in Ikea the next time we go there and the day comes and I can't remember a thing we needed and so it helped a ton, yeah even though it doesn't look like much uh, definitely I will continue using it in my next planner On the right side there are some financial spreads which is always a must even though, I'm a, even though I'm bad at keeping up with my investment tracking because it's all online now. Ideas parking lot is a great spread for all people like me who can't stop generating really exciting ideas only to forget them the next day. This spread makes sure I keep them safe and can come back when I have time for them. Books and story ideas is a must-have for me as a writer. Here are some snippets of plot or funny character names or even just some phrases that suddenly come to my mind and I want to use them in my stories later. And next couple of pages are my random journaling spreads. I didn't use my weeks for journaling that much, just some notes on the go. My main journaling was the Cousin of Act this year and I like journaling in it a lot. 
and all the way back here is some like there are some miscellaneous pages like youtube ideas some notes about hhs some home giving notes etc and also one of my favorites this year my health log the key to logging in my symptoms was actually to create a color-coded key for it like green is for the stomach pain or like stomach symptoms i'm having pink is for the head etc it was game-changing and i'm definitely keeping it for the next year Okay, are you ready to see my new planner that I'm going to use in 2024? I hope you are, because here it is. This is uh, Sweet Freckle Designs Original Weekly Deer... Deary... Deary... <laughs> diary... <laughs> this is Sweet Freckle Designs Original Weekly Diary. It is a beauty and I have already started to use it and love everything so far. It's slightly bigger than Wix and definitely more thick. It has about 400 blank pages, so there is plenty of room for collections, dailies, notes, many, many more things. So let me compare the two for you. This planner is undated, so you can start using it at any point in the year. The monthly boxes in the monthlies are a bit bigger than in uh, weeks, in Hobonichi weeks, so I can fit some more notes in it. I don't plan on using it as a one sticker a day spread. I will try to stick to a more functional layout this time. And I've set up monthlies already in advance, and I really like how they look. The weekly layout in here is very versatile, but pretty simple to Hobonichi weeks. And I drew some layouts myself. This particular layout is similar to the Paper Test weekly planner layouts. I like to track my schedule in it, and overall I use my planner the same way I used my weeks. The left page is for events, appointments and to-dos, and the right page is for habits, trackers and running to-dos. The notes pages in the back are my playground. I love them a lot and use quite frequently. This is the layout for my cycle tracking, similar to the one in the weeks. And the next one is my mental health tracker. It allows me to see what happened and what triggered me, what I was experiencing during that day. Next are my budgeting pages. I have already set them up, but didn't use it yet. And here are my journaling pages, aka my happy place. Right now it has become my favorite place to journal in, but I feel like it deserves a separate video, so stay tuned for that. I will try to do a flip through and maybe some walk you through on this uh, journaling pages. And I guess that's it for me for today. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for being here with me. Thank you so much for watching and for subscribing to my channel. I'm very, very, very happy that this year is coming to its closure 
and I think I need it. I need this closure of this year and I need to start a new one and I am very grateful to Hobonichi Weeks that got me through this very very tough year. And yeah, I will see you again really really soon. Thank you all so much. Bye bye!